the electromagnetic spectrum is a continuous spectrum of waves. So in the electromagnetic spectrum, on the far left is the radio waves. Radio waves have the lowest frequency and the largest wavelength. Next is microwaves and infrared rays, which have a consequently short wavelength and have a high frequency. Next is the visible light and then ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays. Gamma rays have the highest frequency and the shortest wavelength. So all the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum transfer energy, are transverse waves, all travel at the speed of light, 3 million meters per second, and all can be reflected and refracted. Another tip to remember the order of the waves is the mnemonic. Graham's xylophone uses very interesting musical rhymes. Now let's look at the uses of the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum. So radio waves are used for broadcasting and communications. Microwaves are used in mobile phones and cooking. Infrared is used in some TV remote controls, night vision and infrared cookers. Visible light is what allows us to see stuff and is also used in communication and photography. Ultraviolet can be used in fluorescent tubes and UV tanning lamps. X-rays are used, obviously, in X-rays to monitor and observe the internal structure of objects. Gamma rays can be used to sterilize food and for medical equipment. Some of the waves in the electromagnetic spectrum could be detrimental if exposed too much to it. Microwaves could heat up body tissues, which is why microwave ovens have a metal screen to reflect the wave. Overexposure to irradiation could cause skin burns. Exposures to ultraviolet radiation could lead to skin cancer and blindness. And gamma rays, although they can be used to cure cancer, can also cause cancer when used in the wrong way or could cause cells to mutate.